Tommy for LiveIt.TV. Got another viewer request this morning after checking the email. The viewers love the fact that we just did a straight through wheatgrass. We've already done a straight through green drink. So let's do a straight through Sproutacavo. So Sproutacado is my sprout mix and avocado mix that I have most frequently as a meal. So let's go ahead and just let the film run and see how this turns out. So we have our avocado. The first thing I wanna do is take out that little uh, nodule right there, throw it away, it's gone. The other thing you wanna do is make sure you don't cut through the sticker, thus putting the sticker somehow getting it into the meal. And this is an organic avocado, which means on the sticker that it uh, starts with a nine. So if it's a conventional avocado, the sticker will have a four on it. So the first thing I do is cut this in half with my Rada tomato knife as always. Split it open, it's perfect. Go in here, get that, shoot it off into the garbage. And then we're gonna be mashing this, so I kinda just like to take the spoon and just kinda go at the avocado so it kinda comes out in a mash form already. So just small little uh, bites, I'm not scooping the thing out, I'm kind of just taking it in small increments. Scrape that down. If you'd ask people what color is the inside of an avocado, they say green. You flip it over, it's yellow, but mysteriously by the time we're done, it looks green again. So the border around the peel is where the green is. So this is Sproutacavo. So I try to, you know, have this every maybe once every three days or so for one meal. All right, so into the garbage. So we got that. So this is still gonna kind of be hard, but once that lime, acid and lime hits, it softens right up. And the way I pick a good avocado is it feels like this part of your wrist right here. So there's a little bit of give, but the whole thing doesn't give. All right, so cutting the lime in half into a quarter, and then just squeezing that lime on there. Actually, I'd like to give it a little cut in the middle there, makes it a little easier. So you get the juices flowing. Go back the other way. And I'm using a lime, as you can see, it's a little lime, it's pretty beat up. Uh, no conventional person's gonna sell a lime that's this small and this ugly looking. And that's how you know it's organic because it's not perfectly green. It's not, it has a thick skin. It's very small, but it's very juicy inside. Came in a whole bag. I like to get a whole bag of them because they're smaller that way. And this is a small lime, so we're gonna use the whole thing. Now, if you're making a meal for other people, you might not want to get really into it, but these limes are hard to squeeze, so sometimes I just like to get right in there, use my teeth, get more of a squeeze on it. So pretend you saw that, pretend you didn't, whatever you want. And that's how you get the lime out. These are the secret techniques that you're not going to get in a normal video, right? And then you're going to get all that juice mixed up with the avocado and it's going to make a nice spread. And this you don't want to oxidize as well so as soon as you prepare it you want to serve it. So we've been sprouting in our sprouter, our sprouts and these are fenugreek, exuki, garbanzo beans, uh, green lentils, brown lentils, it's all in there. And of course the famous mung beans. So we're just gonna throw that in, knock it down. I can't really see what the camera's showing, so hopefully that's on in the picture. And then, boom. Mix it up with the avocado. And then we're gonna spice that. And my normal blend is just eyeballing my spices, so bring those in the picture. So cinnamon, a couple shakes of that, a couple shakes of turmeric, a couple shakes of cayenne, and some nutmeg. 
And then I'm gonna go with the Sea Seasonings Kelp. So this is an excellent source of iodine. So we wanna get sea vegetables into our diet as much as possible. So either dulse or kelp are my favorite. If you make a wrap, you can use a nori wrap. Real salt, sea salt. So this is pink, uh, just the little shakes in there. If you're ever buying sea salt, you wanna make sure it comes in a container where you can see the salt. Make sure it's pink and none of the crystals look the same. Either pink or, or kind of a, a gray is usually the best if you get that Celtic sea salt. But I like this real salt brand for when I'm just cooking or preparing a meal. I guess it's not cooking. It's a raw food recipe. And we're gonna mix that up. And the cleanup is pretty easy. All you gotta do is throw away your limes and you're uh, off, to, off to go. It's very good. So that's sprout avocado. Sprouts and avocado, you wanna make sure you chew that up. So you wanna chew it as many times until it turns almost into a liquid. So you wanna drink your solids and uh, I think that's about it. So this is Tommy for liveit.tv. Check out our other videos if you missed them on wheatgrass and on making a green drink. Aloha. Hopefully you can see that. It looks delicious.